<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Last time we left off, um, shoot, crap, I forgot where we last off, this is a new recording session. Didn't we have more free time? We had a lot of free time in this chapter, we had like three separate ones, it's like, whoa. Um, so, that, and I think today, there, there's gonna be the magic show happening in the gym. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I think this part in today's a day where something bad's gonna happen. Maybe. But that's what I'm getting out of it. Anyway, I believe we have to go to the dining hall like we start off every morning. And then, uh, off to the magic show, which... I'm curious to see how it's going to turn out. Like, are, are we actually going to see magic, or is it going to be a magic full of death? I don't know. Um, hoping that's not the case, but it's Danganronpa, so... Nah. So it seems like Sumugi is right there. I just want to see where everyone else is at. Um, okay. Kind of odd that, uh... Kirumi just kind of out there by herself. No, 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 we have to go to the the gym, so we're not going to a dining hall? No. Okay. Sumugi. Good morning, Sumugi. Good morning. Are you okay? You look a bit sick. Oh, my. Yeah, it's just the sounds of those bugs buzzing and still in my head. Even after I went to bed, I just kept hearing it, so I didn't get that much sleep. That's... Ah, uh, that must have been rough. <sighs> Gonta would be sad to hear it, but I like, I like bugs even less now. I'm glad there aren't any bugs outside of Gonta's lab. Oh, wait. Are there? Ah. Well, Gonta did say he thought he saw a really tiny bug once. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did say that. But even with Gonta's 20 over 0.65 vision, he could only barely see it, right? So, isn't it possible he just plain he was just plain mistaken? No. No, actually, I really hope he was mistaken. Oh my! Oh, I'm so over bugs. I'm just going to forget last night and enjoy the magic show. You're right. Yeah. All right. The show's in the gym, right? I'm gonna go on ahead. All right. Uh, that's right, so that the whole last episode, too, was that the whole stupid plan from Kokichi tricking into, tricking Gonta, um, into saying we don't like bugs, so we do, like, an insect meet and greet, which was horrible, but I think Kokichi got, you know, he, he uh, he suffered for it, too, afterwards, so I'm happy about that. Kibo. Oh, Kibo. Good morning. Yes. Good morning, Shuichi. How are you feeling today? Are you still sore from the events of last night? Okay. Ah, uh, I'm fine. Are you alright? 100%. Yes, I'm fine. I've recharged the electricity that I use on my recording function. Even so, I'm very happy that I was finally able to use my functions to help somebody. Cable's recording function. It's not exactly a revolutionary art technology, but it did help a lot. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Kibo. You really earned your title of Ultimate Robot. Well, of course. Oh, it was nothing, really. If you ever need my help for anything, please don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sure will. Um... So, the magic show is starting soon, yes? Everyone has probably gathered in a gym already. We should get going as well. Alright. And you know what? Yeah, maybe Kibo's functionality isn't great or state-of-the-art, but it's helpful already. It's proven itself, you know, here and there. Um, I can only imagine why a recording feature, how amazing it would have been in the other games. But, regardless, um, we'll see how it kind of pans out for us as we keep going along in this game. Um, can I put a sworn Kirumi? Well, it's here somewhere. Right here she is. I got. I got also remember to look at the bottom right, like the mini map. It shows like little dots where the characters are. Kirumi. Ah, oh, Kirumi. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone has already gathered for the show. Ah, hmm. oh, is that right? I suppose everyone's looking forward to it. That is correct. Miu seems particularly excited. Her eyes were lit up like a child's. 
She's that excited, huh? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited too. By the way, it would seem that some outrageous events transpired last night. Hey. Yeah, Kokichi tricked Gonta into going along with Mo uh, uh, going along with Motive Video's screening plan. But thanks to Kibo, we put a stop to it. It's okay. I see. So Kokichi truly does intend to oppose us. Please go ahead. No matter. Let's go inside. Everyone is waiting. Okay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure what's about to happen, but I hope, I hope we are able to enjoy a magic show. A good one, nothing deadly. So, we'll see how, we'll see how this is. I'm still very skeptical, but I'm already doing a nice, uh, like a quick pan to see who's missing, and I, I already see Kaito's not there. I don't think Kokichi's there. Oh boy. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna worry. Whoa. This is even nicer than I thought it'd be. Yaha! Welcome to our magic show. What do you think? Isn't it divine? Okay. Yeah, it is. I didn't think you would s you would have a real stage set up. Did you and Himiko do all this? No, no. No, no. This would have been impossible with just two people. I got others to help us. Kaito and Kibo helped carry equipment from Hinko's research lab. I designed the stage, but Kirumi sewed the curtains. Thanks, B2 Atua. Everyone is so nice. Atua deserves all the credit. No. Uh, shouldn't everyone else who worked on it get the credit? Oh. Oh, well, I didn't ask you to help because I didn't know what you'd be useful for. That's... Did you really have to say that? I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll start right away. Huh? Done preparing? You're not ready yet? Uh, yep. The star of the show needs to settle her nerves. The star of the show requires mental preparations? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys couldn't tell from the uh, shakiness, but uh, yeah. She's shaking like a leaf. Alright, well, before we speak with... Uh, what's her name? Ah, uh, Himiko. We'll talk to everybody else first. Actually, so it seems like the only things we can examine are new or the ladder, timer, spend a water tank, and curtain. Okay. There's a huge curtain hanging there. What kind of magic show is this for? I mean, curtains are a normal thing. I mean, this is a timer. Does that mean this magic trick will have a time limit? Maybe. Could be like one of those things like we don't escape in the, this amount of time. Whoop, that's it. There's a ladder here. I wonder if it was used to set up a show. We can only assume so, but then again. A water tank? It looks like there's fish inside. Is this part of the trick too? I want to say yes, but what type of fish? Depends what type of fish it is. I don't know. The Amazing Himiko's Magic Show. So, oh god, I'm so sorry, guys. Ow, that kind of hurt. <laughs> Ow. Um, I just noticed it on the banner. It said The Amazing Himiko's Magic Show. I feel like they could have centered Magic Show, so they use... So, like, not a lot of space is, uh... Free right here, but whatever. Go to idiots! <laughs> Gonta so sorry about yesterday. Gonta not know why he act that way. Gonta too forceful. Still have long way before Gonta call himself true gentleman. Wait. I it's you're not your fault. It's Kokishi's fault for tricking you. Degenerate Even nails. so, I think you need to seriously reflect on what you did. You, your gullible mind will eventually lead you down the wrong path in life. Mm. Gonta be more careful next time. Um. So... What happened to Kokichi? Um... Well, after insect meet and greet, Kokichi's mouth start to bubble, then he pass out. <laughs> <laughs> I see. He might not make it to the show then. What is this? This is way bigger than I thought. I imagine a plain everyday stage. Uh... I guess all the thoughts in my plain old head are just plain... plain. Oh, 
<laughs> what is this device? I've never seen something like this before. This is the first. Uh, I'm getting excited. Really, really excited. Okay, Miu, you, you need to use the bathroom? You need to change anything? I mean, it kind of. Ooh. This is. This is quite a professional looking set. Hmm. However, considering how unsettled Himiko is, we might not get to witness for, our, for ourselves the skills of Ultimate Magician. How unfortunate. I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh my! Tenko, you're trembling! I told you many times that Atua loves all his creations. Hmm. What do you mean, all his creations? That's way too much love. What about Monokuma, huh? Does Atua love him too? Of course! So he must love Monokuma so that our love will reach him. Shut up already! Robots can't feel love. They can't feel any emotions at all. And yet, I felt a strange pain in my chest after you just said that. <laughs> you know, lately I've been having weird pains in my joints and my lower body. Are you okay? Isn't that symptom of gout? Oh god, well, let's just leave that alone. Either way. We managed to complete the preparations in time. I hope everyone enjoys the show. Okay. You helped too, Kir uh, Kirumi? Did you do the sewing? You, com you complete every task you were given, don't you? No wonder you're the ultimate maid. But right now, you're just an audience member like everyone else. So let's enjoy the show. Enjoy the show, excuse me. Yes. Yes. I shall do just that. Okay, let's see if I can... There we go. By the way, can I ask you something, Angie? Feel free! Hmm? What? Uh, um, when you're alone, Himiko, what do you guys talk about? Yeah! Oh, just normal things. So divine! Food, sweats, sweets, or na our nails, and how to get Atua's bath water at a discounted rate. Hey! That last one, it wasn't normal at all. Angie can be quite the handful. I wonder if Himiko can handle her. I don't know. I'm so iffy of this whole... Seems like a whole brainwashing thing. I don't know what the hell happened. Say... Those fish in the tank above, are those truly? Is it all right to use something so dangerous? So I'm wondering, like, I was thinking, like, are they piranhas? They, they don't they necessarily look dangerous, but then again, eh. Could it be... Himiko, are you a bit nervous? <laughs> Just a little bit. It certainly doesn't look like just a little bit. Because the, the magic I'll be performing today is the Extreme Water Magic Underwater Escape Act. I've never successfully cast it before. It's pretty difficult, so I'm a little nervous. Huh? You've never cast it before. Mm. And today, in order to raise the stakes, mm -hmm. there's a time limit. If I don't escape from the tank within a time limit, piranhas will be dropped in. I'll be pureed. Pureed! This is looking a little dangerous. The water's cloudy, so I can't see every I can't see very clearly, but I do see fish swimming around. Those are all piranhas, huh? They don't look like normal piranhas. Hmm. Those piranhas were in my research lab. Angie said we should use them for the show. Uh, no. Wait, piranhas are way too dangerous. Tenko. Himiko. Himiko, please reconsider. They're piranhas. They're nothing like lasagna. With my magic. No need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas with my magic. Huh? You're going to kill them? I thought this was an escape trick. Um. Himiko, are you serious? Uh, huh? There's no way I can stop now. Since Atua is watching the show and all. No! There's no such thing as a Tua. Angie has brainwashed you. What was that? You don't believe in my magic? Well, I, I, I can do it. I'm a skilled young girl, because I'm a mage. Oh, see, the game's doing that thing again where they're not flipping how they should be, but whatever. She psyched herself up and headed straight to the water tank. Uh -huh. <laughs> of course, I believe in your magic. You're my precious friend, Tenko. Yoo-hoo! Oh, 
Oh man, I am. I have like a really bad feeling in my stomach. I really hope this goes okay. Ready, Himiko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said my prayers and went pee. <laughs> now let's get the show started. It's starting already, but not everyone is here yet. Maki, Kokichi, Ryoma, and Kaito aren't here. What happened to Kaito? I thought he'd be here for sure. I wonder if something happened. Thank you, Atua, for being with us today. Boo! Boo! You're supposed to thank us first! Mew! Ha 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 ha! I present to you the mysterious, the miraculous, the amazing Himiko! The, the, the magic I will perform today is the extreme water magic. Uh, underwater escape act. If you would please turn your attention to the water tank in front of you! When the timer above the stage starts, Himiko will enter the water tank. Once she's in the tank, her assistant, me, will draw the curtain in front of the tank. After 60 seconds have passed on the timer, a separate suspended tank will open and drop in a school of piranhas! Oh my goodness! After the piranhas have fallen, and the curtain is opened! If by some miracle, Himiko has been gobbled up, please give a big round of applause! Just kidding! It's a joke! Are you feeling alright? Not really sure we should be joking about crap like that, but... Meh. I'm concerned about Himiko. She's not responding properly to Angie's jokes. Gonto worry. Gonto have bad feeling. Uh, Atua, please protect him. No! Wait, what am I doing to pray to Atua? That's Andrew's shtick. Oh. Well, I guess you can pray to some other god. Well then, let's begin. The amazing Himiko's magic show. Oh man. In her typical high-pitched voice, Himiko made her announcement and started a timer. Then she took a breath and dove into the water tank. Okay! I'm closing the curtain! Angie closed the curtains, obscuring the water tank from view. We start we stared silently, waiting. I clenched my fists nervously, my palms damp with sweat. Himiko is still not out! She went in mere moments ago. Do you think she's alright? Uh, Gonta's starting to worry. Should we do something? She, she still hasn't come out! Are you sure she's okay? Gonta can't take it anymore! Gonta cried out and leaped out on his seat and... Wait, Gonta? Ran up onto the stage! Oh, you can't do that! We're still in the middle of the show! B but if Gonta does nothing... Piranhas will eat Himiko! Huh? Um, less than 10 seconds remain. I don't care if it ruins the trick! Just come out! This dress is bad for my heart! Himiko! Right when the butt timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. And then... The bottom of the suspended tank swung open and the murky water and, sh and shadowy shapes inside fell straight into the water tank Himiko was sw swimming in. Huh? Huh? Look! The piranhas! H hurry! The curtains! Open the curtains already! Got it! I'm opening it now! When Angie pulled apart, our, pulled apart the curtains, we witnessed an unbelievable sight. Oh god. What the hell? No! No, 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 no! Oh, shoot! Oh! 
Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Well. This game doesn't give you a chance. But it doesn't give you a chance to fully. I don't know. Process what the hell is happening. Why? Damn it. I was getting. I wanted to learn more about Ryoma. This, this is my fault because I gave him a crappy gift. Oh my god, why? What a terrible way to go, too. It took a few moments for all of us to even process it. But then again, perhaps we weren't trying to process it. Perhaps we didn't want to acknowledge it. Great, huh? Behold, the magnificent underwater escape. Yeah. A body has been discovered. Everyone, please gather in the gym. I don't even know what you call a body anymore. What's left? A body in the gym. Then, when Himko turned to look back the water tank. Yeah. Cause that happened. Uh I would end the episode here, but um Maybe we can keep going until we can start investigating exactly what happened here. For the second time at the Ultimate Academy, a body discovery announcement sounded out. Those who weren't present at the magic show heard it and came running. What? What's going on? Ah! I don't know. I don't know what just happened. Well, no. We should break the tank, right? We gotta check what's inside. What? What? Break it? Yeah. Yeah, break it. It'll take too long to drain it by hand. Huh? But what will we use to break? Hey! Gonta! Keyboy! You're up! Huh? Huh? What do you mean we're up? You're so dumb. Gonta, throw Keyboy as hard as you can. Use a, use that robot like a battering ram. Do not mock me. Who are you calling a battering ram? Got it. Gonta, throw Keyboy. Got it. Got it. Then I'll help too. Please wait. No, no, wait just a second. You don't have to team up now. <laughs> Beautiful. The sound was intense. A wall of piranhas in water dyed red and blood rushed out. We watched helplessly as the area flooded with water. After some deliberation, we decided to start cleaning everything up. However, I made sure not to disturb the scene more than necessary. With Kirumi's expertise, we were able to clean up enough to start investigating. Um... I've... Gathered Ryoma's body and belongings in one place. Uh, Kibo looks depressed. He was just used as a battering ram, so I understand why. However, he's been reduced such that he can be carried in one hand. How fleeting and fragile life is. Mm. Gonto put piranhas in bucket. Piranhas all got big tummies. Gonto think they full. Ew. Today we almost fish food, and tomorrow he'll be fish shit. Don't say such things. <laughs> Himiko? Are you okay? Is this... This wasn't an accident, was it? Does this mean the killing game has started again? <laughs> How? How could this happen? We... We swore to each other, didn't we? We swore we'd never let the killing game start up again. Why? So that was all just a lie. You guys are liars. Oh, you liars! Apologize to Ryoma! He believed the killing game wouldn't happen anymore! Unacceptable. You disingen- You disingenu- Ugh. Your disingenuous tears mark you as a liar right now. Did I get caught? Oh, you figured it out! You got a pretty good eye there, Kai- Kyo! Hey! 
Hey guys, how does it feel that you've got a second murder victim on your hands? Huh? Were you almost transparent? Has my X-ray vision superpower finally awakened? You don't have superpowers, he's just been reduced to a skeleton! Right. Finally! I've been waiting for the killing game to start up again! That means we can put all that boring crap on hold and start playing the blame game! Oh, I forgot I can do the, this whole thing here. I, I forgot what this does again. I probably should be using more of it. I'll look it up later. That's nice! You're raring to go, Mono! Wait, who are you again? Monosuke! You, you should at least remember your own kid's name! Or Monosuke, whatever you want, I don't know. Uh -huh. okay. Mono Fanny, are you okay? Five, four. Hmm? Hmm? Are you counting, Mono Fanny? Uh, why are you counting? No. Because three, I'm seriously two, gonna puke. One, no! <laughs> ah. ah, she puked again. You stupid. What the hell are you doing, you failure? Dumbass. Listen up. We're here to make this sure the killing game goes smoothly, capiche? Yeah, so also, to keep me company, the new ma new mascots present lots of exciting business opportunities. Oh, yes. Shut up, you failure! Dang what? Me too! Hey, hey, this conversation is fun and all, but we should really get this over with. Don't we need to start investigating or something? Alright! Alright! I'll get the copper this time for sure! Hurry up and give us the thingy! You mean a monokuma mono file, right? I also investigated the cause of death this time, so read to your heart's delight! Pops. Oh, this is sort of unrelated, but I got a great business idea! Oh. Yeah, that's totally unrelated! Got it. Let's use this monokuma file to start a funeral service business! You know, you know how it gets awkward at funerals when you start asking about the cause of death? And that's that. If we pass out monokuma files, even the worst deaths will get a giggle out of attendees! Well, well Pops, what do you think? You're so freaking cute! Huh? Cute? The way you pass out the files is just too cute! Why don't you come with me over here? Hey, Pops is gonna look, up me, look me all over! Hmm? Huh? Father showering Mon Monosuke with all his love! Hmm. Hmm. You, you would think... Do you think maybe Monosuke is right? Maybe Father doesn't like us anymore because we're not hostile and threatening enough. Um. I think maybe I'll follow Monosuke. So long. So long. Farewell. So then. In any event, let's begin the investigation. But. Investigation. So it's really going to start again. Actually. I can't believe it. One of us killed Ryoma. Someone among us. How this happened? No more. Going to no one to investigate friends. No one to suspect friends. Then? Then don't do it. I'm not going to investigate either. Huh? Huh? Because. You'll be fine if we're a shorter person, and I doubt a child caregiver would be much help. Maki! Wait, Maki! I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around and kept walking. What was that? The fuck is that bitch's problem? She's seriously not gonna investigate? Incomprehensible. That seems rather irresponsible. Yes. She likely assumes someone else will take care of it. And I suppose she isn't wrong. But why would she say that now? She participated in Rotaro's investigation. Although, I suppose Maki has been acting strange lately. I've been told she spent all day in her lab. What is she doing in there? Jeez. Well, I'll have a talk with Maki later. For now, we should start investigating. I'm around. seriously pissed we gotta do this, but it's our only chance to survive. Right? Yep, I'll do my very best too. Because Gonta and I have to work especially hard since we can regain everyone's trust. You right? Oh yes, you right. <laughs> but we don't even need to investigate. It's pretty obvious who the culprit is. Huh? What? Right? We almost murdered during a certain little magical girl show, right? Nah. Hmm. So I think we need to be a little more suspicious of that little magical girl. Uh, eh. But... But she's so suspicious that it seems not suspicious. Yeah. Right. But then again, she's made herself look not suspicious, so now she's super suspicious. Hey, degenerate male! 
Gee, shut, shut up already. How dare you toy with Himiko's pure hearts? You got me. You just said Himiko, didn't you? But I never mentioned her name. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, shut up, shut up. Himiko would never do something like that. I, I know her best. Right, Himiko? No. <laughs> this is the part where you agree with me. Anyway. Himiko, can you at least tell us a trick behind the underwater escape act? Because... And if we know how the trick works, we can try to figure out how the culprit killed. It's impossible. Huh? Not possible. Why not? It's magic. There's no trick to the underwater mag uh, escape because it's my magic. <laughs> how long is that don donkey lip midget gonna keep saying that? Um. Himiko, in order for us to find the culprit, it's plain to see we need your help. Cut it out. My answer won't change, no matter what you say. Because I'm a maid. There's no trick to my magic. Because it's magic. Seriously? Come on. How long are you going to keep that bullshit up? Listen, we don't catch the culprit. We're... Oops, I pushed square on accident. Cut it out already! That's enough! If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic! <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll use my Neo Keto to obliterate any deger degenerate male who bullies Himiko. What? I'm not bullying her. It's her fault she's being so stubborn. Well, it's fine if you don't want to tell us. I'll just find out myself. Right? Actually, that sounds pretty fun! It seems as if... To solve this mystery, we must first learn a trick behind Himiko's underwater escape act. We must do it. We have no choice in the matter. He's right. We have no choice. We have no choice but to find the culprit who killed Ryoma. This investigation is to save all our lives, because we're risking our lives in a class trial. Shuichi. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go ahead and start the investigation in the next episode. Um, it, yeah, oh God, it just sucks that Ryoma. You, you know, part of me, there, there's a zillion things that can go through somebody's head as you're playing games like this. Where you're like thinking, yeah, anybody could die here, but you're thinking there's also a possibility that they won't die, and how. How they'll make it to the, toward the end of the game. And part of me was thinking, hey, with Ryoma, he kept saying, you know, oh, I don't plan on surviving too long, blah, 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 blah. I don't plan on living all the way to the end. I have nothing to go back home to. So it's like him saying that, it's like, I, I hope that he'll survive until the end because he realizes, like, hey, he will survive until the very end. And then this happened. So it's like, well, that didn't last long at all. So now... We can we have like a thing where maybe one of us killed him or something. But once again, that's the whole point of the investigation, which we will start in the next episode. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time for Let's Play Dang and Rampa V3 Killing Harmony. Love you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe for future content, where I aim to release a video a day. And if you do subscribe, make sure to click on the bell symbol to be notified once new videos are uploaded. You can also catch me streaming from time to time on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to relax with other gamers. All this information is in the description box below. Have a great day.